downtown Manhattan that asked the place to be specific. We're about to take you on the ill romp through the Lower East Side. Show you how to fucking get over on these bitches. Fuck with us. So we know a lot of people out there are struggling, so we're going to take you to the first spot, Two Brothers Pizza. Two Brothers, one dollar slice. Fuck with us. Let's go. Ah, what up, motherfuckers? We out here on St. Mark's in front of Two Brothers Pizza, as promised. Dollar pizza, man. Can't go wrong with a dollar slice. And yo, surprisingly enough, the pizza's better than you think. Save you a couple dollars towards your mink. So fuck with it. Two Brothers catches a lot of flack for not being real pizza, quote unquote. And it is kind of a hobo lounge for all the derelicts and degenerates that hang out there. But yo, all things considered, you can't really complain because it only costs one dollar. So as you can see, man, it worked out. No trouble. Real quick, you heard it from the Mexican's own fucking grill piece. It's a fucking dollar, man. What more can I say? Pardon me while I fuck this shit up real quick. I'm about to step inside the Rocksmith Wu Tang sample sale and get busy. If you don't know what I mean by getting busy, Talking about racking, aka boosting, aka snatch whatever the fuck you want and walk out the store with it. We're coming in there with nothing, but we're coming out with a little something, something that is something. More often than not, it's better to just walk right up on the workers, start talking to them. It takes them off guard, but at the same time, it kind of puts them at ease. He's trying to help you now. You can take advantage, going for the kill, right about. Now, another good tactic is to send the worker on some wild goose chase. Just pick out any item, send him to the back. While he's over there looking for some retarded shit, you're plundering and pillaging as you see fit. Bong bong. You gotta be creative when you fucking finding hiding spots to stash this shit up in. Under your hat's always a good place. Of course you don't want that oversized garbage you just bought back from the stock room. But you pretend like you do, or at least you're contemplating. Fact is, we out. But don't forget, don't fucking start showing off what you just snatched up in the store until you're at least safely around the corner. This is how you get spotted by fucking workers. Oh shit, time to do the bird, my G. Alright, alright. Aquí estamos. Even deeper in the low east side, son. We all the way on motherfucking pit street right now. Pit set, nigga. Pit set, pit set. On the low, quiet as kept. It's a local secret. A dollar Dutch. Said 1999. Is Giuliani still in office? Is fucking Clinton still nutting on bitches' dresses? If you know like I know, shit's going for at least $2, 225 Too fucking much. How about that? So let's step inside. Keep in mind whenever copping Lucy's or reduced tobacco items, don't act like a fucking narc. These dudes are paranoid enough as is. Just put your order in, pass off on the cash, grab up your Dutchess or Lucy's or what have you, and step. Just keep it moving, man. Less said, the better. So this pretty much brings this fucking segment to a close. Next segment, I'm going to show you how to fill this up with some... Other than tobacco, but more importantly, how to do it for free. That's right, gratis. Fuck with me, son. <laughs> <laughs> 